Hey there, this is Christy Ashcraft from Christy's Lead Services. I'm a small business in Abington. Came across your um, business on Yelp and I just thought I'd reach out and shoot you the screencast, go over your online presence and show you how some things on Google work. Um, so I just did a Google search for your name and I came up, I see you have a Facebook, Yelp, which is good to have, helps establish your trust with Google, Zoom Info, the blue book, those are all good because your location and business name, address, and phone number are out there on the web, which definitely help. And then some other stuff down here next door. So it's good to get your business name, address, and phone number connected to the Google because it helps Google recognize you more and more, brings you some more um, trust as a business. So I will just um, click on, yeah, your Facebook here. And it looks like you have a nice image. Interior, exterior painting. That looks good. Your website, your email address. Images are always great on Facebook. And Facebook can be a good thing to have for sure. Keeps you connected to social media. Um, daily posts help as well. So just kind of writing up something, posting something every day can help people. Um, just draw people into your Facebook page more and get you some more views. So, you know, just posting some stuff. Images are good, but posting, like, you know, anything you kind of can think of about your business will help. And I don't know if you're running Facebook ads, but to target them closely to, like, homeowners or perhaps homeowners of older homes even that might need paint jobs is something that could um, help hone your advertising into the right market. Um, so I just want to go over here. And I just did a Google search for painters, Montgomery County. Just kind of go over what's happening here. This is the map pack. Well, these are Google guaranteed ads. And this is the map pack, which is a really good place to be. It's right in the middle. <clears throat> well, it's to the top third of the page, but it is just really highly visible, especially on mobile, which is mo where most people do their business these days. Um, takes up a lot of space, four or five lines, sometimes even six. And on mobile, this is going to appear as a phone number that someone can just click to call or click through your website to take a look. But if you are the first one in the map pack, there's no reason someone wouldn't at least call you or click on you, you know, as long as this is titled correctly. Um, you know, if you're the third one, it's possible they've already gotten their business taken care of. But if you're the first, you're generally going to be the first one they, they call. And this is what we call a high buyer intent keyword because someone's looking for a painter and lives in Montgomery County. So in order to get into that map pack, you got to go through a small process, and you also want to have a lot of citations, more citations than your competitors. A citation is just your business name, address, and phone number appearing in online directories like um, Angie's Yelp, Yellow Pages. The more you have, the more trusted you are, and then the Google kind of puts you up there in the map pack. And you want to try to be in the map pack for as many possible highly searched keywords that you would be found for. If you're in the map pack top spot and the top spot organically underneath it, like this company, then you're going to get about 80% of the searches that come to this page a month. That includes ads. So, you know, on average, Google says 10% of those will um, call you. And then, you know, from there, you're going to get about 5 to 10% become customers and whatever your closing rate is. So it's a good number of um, added jobs you could get a month. So what I'm going to show you now is just a tool we use called AREFs. goes into each website and kind of shows us what's going on. So your website might be new, and it's probably why it's not getting much here. I just did one of your competitors, that first place house painting, just to kind of show you their backlinks, their domains. Um, in order to get to that top spot organically, you want to have more backlinks. Backlink is just another website that links back to yours. It could be a blog about painting. The blog is the domain. These have to be high quality. <clears throat> the more quality they have, the more power they get, and the more keywords you'll start to rank for. And this is the traffic that they're getting. 
I'm going to just show you their keywords last and give an example of some of those high buyer intent keywords I was talking about. So Painters in Montgomery County has 90 searches a month. Its difficulty is zero, which is the easiest it can be in terms of time and money. And they're in spot four. Bucks County Painters, 250 searches a month. Zero KD. Painters, Bucks County, 150 searches a month. One. You can kind of go on and on and see. So we could look at ones that would pertain just to your area. If you were just doing Abington and Montgomery County, you know, Montgomery County Painter, 50 searches a month. Those little searches add up. We we'll definitely add those painters in Bucks County, 100 searches a month. Exterior house painter. So just wanted to give you an idea of some of those keywords that, you know, we would put in the content to help you kind of um, build some more visibility on Google. I hope this video was helpful. My door is always open. I'd love to have a conversation, short conversation with you if you're interested in learning anything more about Christie's leads. Um, uh, and if not, if the timing's not right, that's fine. I understand. No harm, no foul. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.